Hey everybody, I'm about three weeks and five days into my recovery and I'm regaining the strength in my body and it is not a one woman job. Just as schools creating an environment where students thrive is not a one person job. Essential understanding number nine reminds us that a culture of continuous improvement is rooted and grounded in distributing the leadership and sharing the responsibility for student achievement. Now, once I reach a certain level of health, I'm gonna work with the trainer to teach me some practices and have me put some things into place to build more upon the strength that I actually have. Just like in schools, once leadership is distributed and responsibility is shared, development has to take place. Essential understanding number nine says that building teacher capacity and leadership skills requires active, ongoing, and high quality professional development that teachers actually participate in. So my family's sharing the responsibility of helping me get well. I'm going to be learning and putting some things in place for my own development. And now there are things that I must do to sustain all of those things. Essential understanding number 11 says that schools can sustain their cycle of school improvement as long as the culture shows that everyone, everyone is responsible and everyone is held accountable for student achievement. In order for all three of these things to thrive, we have to be mindful of the concept of individualism and collectivism. And we've got to find a way to move our staff away from individualistic mindsets that says, I am here for me and my classroom through my lens and through my values only, and more towards a collectivist mindset that says, I am for the whole. I am and contribute to the values and to the well-being of all students and colleagues in this building. We can master that through understanding essential understanding. 9, 10, and 11, which my colleagues are going to bring to you right now.